What's up guys, welcome back to day 12 of the quarantine 14. We've got three days left. What I'm gonna do is take all of the movements that I've shown you over the previous 11 days and put those into three full body workouts, okay? So you can put those into your workout routine and build out the week for as long as the gym stay closed or as long as you're working out from home, okay? Um, so today, day one, we've got lower push, upper pull. We're gonna start with the Tyson 10 card pickup challenge. I've laid mine out on the floor here. So that's just gonna get me warmed up, get me sweating, get me moving. It's quite cold out here right now, okay? So we start with that. Then we're gonna go into forward and reverse lunges. Then we're gonna go into a jump squat, or if you've got a box or a platform that you trust, a chair, stabler than that that you trust, then you might wanna do a box jump, okay? Then we're going into our squats, either banded squats, if you've got kettlebells, you could do a goblet squat, or you could front rack it and do a front squat. You could use a barbell if you've got one, but essentially we're going into the squat is the main movement, so we should build up to that, okay? So Tyson 10 card pickup challenge, time yourself, set yourself a little goal, why not, get a sweat on. Then we've got the forward and reverse lunges, then we've got the uh, squat jump or box jump variation, then we've got a squat variation, whether it's a goblet front or banded or back squat if you've got a barbell, okay? I'll spin this camera around, get you through that first uh, circuit, and then we'll come back and have a look at what the upper pool looks like. Okay, once you've done your Tyson 10 card pickup, you can put them back down, catch your breath, maybe take 60 seconds until you're 80 or 90% recovered and then we're going to get straight into the working sets okay so back to back to back we start off with forward and reverse lunges all right now you've done your tyson 10 card pickup challenge you can put them down take a two minute rest 90 seconds to two minutes okay you want to feel about 80 percent recovered really and then we're going to get into our working sets so that we go back to back to back starting with forward and reverse lunges you're going to go through these six reps i'll show you what one rep looks like okay pick enough space so you can go forwards and backwards because you go in reverse after the forward lunge. So I'm going to step forward with my left, step together, step back with my right, step together, step forward with my right, step together, go back with my left. That is one rep. Okay, then I go left forward, together, back right, right forward, back left. So that's two. Left forward, back right, head up, right forward, together, back left. So that's three. I've got three more to go. Forwards, together, scoop back, come forwards, together, there. And then come back as four together forwards together switch legs back together switch legs forwards this will be the fifth one here that's five one more one more full rep one more full cycle there set forward there's your six on the next go round you'll go five and on the third circuit you'll go four okay so that's six of our forward and reverse lunges all right now we're going to get straight into our squat jump again if you've got a box that's great jump up on the box and make sure when you land on the box you land soft and then you stand all the way up and then step off the box okay I'm just going to do box jumps I want to get some explosivity in this movement I'm just going to set up as if I'm in a squat okay feet shoulder width apart squat deep touch the elbows to the knees and then come straight back up sit in the bottom at the end of it okay try and sit back in the bottom catch yourself in the bottom come up six and then again on the next circuit you'll go five and then you'll go four okay so the squats i'll do in the band as most of us have probably got a band again if you've got a kettlebell great you can do a goblet squat if you've got two kettlebells you can rack it do kind of a front squat if you've got a barbell just make it work right body weight will be fine as well because this is quite high intensity this morning but i'm going to get in my band for now i'm going to push up explode out come down come up eight more i want to go ten That's your first lower push circuit. Once you've done all three movements, six full cycles on the lunges, forward and back, six powerful squat jumps or box jumps, catching yourself in the bottom, and then 10 strong, stable, steady squats in the band or however you choose to add resistance. Then I can take a two minute rest. 90 seconds to two minutes is the goal really. Feel about 80% recovered. And then you do it all again, but you drop the reps on the first two movements by one so I'm gonna go five forward and reverse lunges five explosive squat jumps or box jumps I'm gonna try and keep my squats at 10 though okay for all three rounds so squat for 10 90 second two minute break drop to four 
forward and reverse lunges, four explosive jumps, the squat jump or the box jumps, and then into the band or whatever you're doing to add resistance for your 10 squats to finish, okay? So we go six, six, 10, rest, five, five, 10, rest, four, four, 10, and then on that rest, you take a full three minute rest. I'll come back and show you what we're doing for the upper body pull, okay? Get that lower body burn going. Okay, you've had a sip of water, you've gathered yourself, you've got your composure back, let's have a look at this upper body pull circuit, okay? We're gonna go straight into it after that three minute rest period. We're going with um, single arm rear flies, okay, delt flies. So I'm gonna stand on opposite leg, opposite hand, pull out 12 on each side, okay? Then I'm gonna get into deadlifts, banded deadlift, kettlebell, barbell, whatever you've got is likely to be fairly light, okay, unless you've got a full home gym set up. So when you're performing these deadlifts, I want good form, chest out, okay, squeeze in your armpits, okay, so your hands are, your arms are nice and locked, your hands are gripped strong, and as you settle down slowly, I want you to explode up nice and quick for eight reps, okay. Then, in the final set, we're gonna try and get max pull-ups, okay. I can't do pull-ups right now because A, we don't really have a good bar here, B, still suffering from that shoulder surgery, right? So if you can do pull-ups, I want you to do as many as you can in the, at the end of that first circuit, okay? You should be shooting for at least four to six. If you can do eight to 10, that's great. If you can do more than 12, add weight, okay? Um, if you can't do pull-ups, as I can at the moment, or if you don't have access to a bar, I'll show you how to latch your band, but essentially you're gonna do banded uh, pull-downs, okay? So you're gonna do banded pull-downs, and I'll take the camera over there and show you through that demo. Now guys, the rep count on this circuit for upper pull is the same. It does not change as you go through the three rounds, okay? So you do 12 reverse delt flies on each arm, then you go into eight nice, strict, strong, but quick, strong uh, deadlifts, and then you go into, if you're doing pull-ups, you go into a max pull-ups. If you're doing the lap pull-downs with the band, I want you to go for 10 to 12, okay? Don't over-exhaust yourself. Again, if you can do more than 12 pull-ups, add weight, but you should be looking at trying to achieve four to six or eight to 10. If you can do more than like 10 to 12, try and add some weight, okay? Let's get to it, I'll show you how it's done. So take whatever band you want to introduce a bit of resistance, stand on one leg so that we're unstable and we're working the core a little bit, and then you're gonna pull open, control it closed, pull open, control it closed. Okay, that's three reps, keeping an arm straight, hinging at the shoulder joint here, pull it through, chest through the band, a little bit of wobble is good, make your abs work. Pull those out, 12 on each side. Okay, into the deadlifts, I'll show you these on the band. Okay, fairly simple. We've done them earlier in the week. We've completed all units. Um, again, if you want to use if you've got two kettlebells or dumbbells, you could do that. If you want to use a barbell, that's great. But whatever you're doing, I want you to go at a weight that you can probably do 12 or 15 with, but go nice and slow on the eccentric negative and then rip up quick, okay, as if you're in trouble when you get it off the floor. So I'm going to settle into my band, engage, pull up, chest out, shoulders back, and then sink, butt back, hands to my knees, and then I can sink my knees a little bit slowly and then half a second, that's two. Come down, hinge, use your hamstrings and hips to get to your knees, then I can sink my knees into the floor. All right guys, here we are, behind the bamboo. Um, maybe I'll do a little mini series of outtakes of uh, hacks and cheats that I could give you for, for your lifting techniques and strength gains we'll do it in this little ramshackle part of the roof here. Um, for now, I've taken this resistance band, this is the thickest one I've got um, at the minute. I'm gonna put it over this high point, okay? So I'm using this uh, roof ladder here, and I've got a backward facing chair, so that I can, it forces me to sit up rather than lean into the chair. That's the only reason I'm turning around. You can do these standing if you want, but again, if I'm sat up, it forces me to put my chest out, engage my core, and stack my lower back, okay? Um, so I'm gonna reach up, take a good grip on the bands and I'm going to crunch out 10 of these okay if you're doing pull-ups go for max reps again if you can do more than 10 or 12 add weight if you can't do pull-ups um, or you prefer to do this fine take the strongest band that you have got and I want you to go for 10 reps okay so we're going to be upright chest out pull down and then release pull down hold and then release
that is day 12 of quarantine 14. We've got a couple more to go. Let's keep it up. Results, love, effort. Check me out at Instagram, at Artillery Strength Training. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're here on YouTube already. If you're not and you're seeing this on Facebook, head over to YouTube, Artillery TV. Give me a subscribe, give me a like. There'll be plenty more of these coming. We've got two more days to get through this quarantine 14, and then hopefully we can start focusing on some strength stuff once we get in the gyms. All right, peace.